Hello friends, welcome to Eltropic Cells. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, it's a 43 inch Imbex LED TV. Here in this TV, the complaint is double image along with vertical lines and horizontal lines in the display. See friends, this is the fault. As we discussed earlier, these types of complaints are mainly due to internal shorting in gate signals inside the glass panel. The shorting may be either from the left side or right side of the glass panel. If both sides of the panel is short, then it is not repairable. After all, we can repair this panel by a temporary method. Remember that this is just only a temporary method and the permanent solution is panel replacement. So in this condition now let us turn on the backer of the TV. See friends, here we finally removed the backer of the TV. Here you can see this is the T-Con board and this is the motherboard. It's a 43 inch combo board and it's a full HD panel. Also in the motherboard here you can see a faulty capacitor. Almost the top portion of the capacitor is bulged. It's a bad capacitor. So we need to replace the capacitor also. See friends, this is the T-Con board. Here in this T-Con board, we need to prevent the gate signal sending to the panel either from the left side or right side. If both sides of the panel is short, then it is not repairable. See, before starting repair, you can see the condition. It is showing double image still. The problem is there. See friends, you can see still the complaint is there. To solve this issue, first I am going to block the gate signal sent to the panel. For that, here we are implementing the taping method. By using the taping method, we are trying to block the CKV signals entering to the panel. So here, first we are going to remove the right side FFC cable. And check by blocking the gate signals using taping method to make sure that the complaint is in right side or not. See friends, now we disconnected the FFC cable from the T-Con board. See friends, now using this tape, here you can see for starting taping method, these are the CKV tracks. See friends, these are the 15 CKV pins from the right side and these are the CKV tracks from the left side. You can see the CKV1, CKV2, CKV3, etc. are written in that test point. So now we disconnected the FFC cable from the T-Con. Now using this taping method, see. Now let us block these gate signals. Remember that this is just only a temporary solution. The permanent solution is panel replacement. And we cannot predict how long the display will work using this method. It completely depends on luck basis. You can see. Now we fixed the tape on the right side of the cable. 
to block the gate signals and then to the panel through this FFC cable see friends now we reconnect the FFC cable back to the decon board now let us list the TV from the standby and check the picture is ok or not if the picture is not ok then we need to remove the blocking from the right side then we need to block the left side gate signal track now let us release the TV from the standby see friends now the TV is released from the standby and here you can see now the complaint is sold here you can see now the display is crystal clear and there is no double image or vertical lines on the display see friends now the problem is solved and the shorting is with right side gate signals so by blocking the right side gate signal tracks now the panel is repaired successfully so that's it hope you like this video if you like our channel please don't forget to like share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notification see you on the road with other interesting topics thank you for watching